it's your first time over at my channel thank you so much i hope you enjoy it it's a huge haul i have to say i think this could possibly be one of my largest hauls i can see what you can't see yeah yeah you know those laundry baskets that you take the, the washing down to the washing machine i've got one loaded there and then i've got another one here so as i'm showing you i can put it in there so i'm going to be really organized but I don't know what order we're going to do it in because I've not sorted it yet. But before we get started, let's hit the intro and I'll see you on the other side. Get a cup of tea. I've got a feeling this is going to be a long one. Hit it, Mickey. when there's that much stuff and you really I just don't know where to start um yeah I don't know where to start so it's going to be a bit of a higgledy pickledy one you're not going to see the same things together you'll see one phone case and you'll see another as it is in the basket because I figured if I was to source it all out it'd be all spread down the table and it would be a nightmare to try and show you everything so I thought we'll do it this way and it'd be a mystery to me as well and it'd be a bigger mystery to Phil because he's not allowed to watch it anyway. Glasses on. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Right, shall we start off? For those of you who aren't aware or if it's your first time watching, um, with his ears, I'm really, really, you know when you're really obvious that you're, you're really aware, sorry, that your ears are sticking out when you've got ears on. So I keep doing this. Anyway, I digress. Um, at Christmas time, we actually went across to Disneyland and Vegas uh, for for Christmas. We had 10 nights there and we had an amazing time. And it was our first time ever to both locations. Um, now, I knew it was going to be cold in Vegas, so I took big coats um, and jumpers. But because we went to Disneyland for three nights, then we went to Vegas for three nights, then we did Disneyland for four nights four of us I thought what I'll do is I'll pack three cases and each case will be for a different hotel so I we had to go and buy extra jeans or what have you but so that I wouldn't have to keep on packing and packing all the cases because when you're there for a short time you don't want that do you so I did that and my Vegas case was fine because I got all the thick jumpers and the big heavy winter coats but for Disneyland I don't know it'd be cold but I didn't realize it'd be 15 degrees colder than they used to it was freezing, so I had to buy a lot of sweaters. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Mm. So, this is the one that I, I lived in. So, it's my Disneyland sweater. And I wa I want I so wanted one of those anyway. So, so yes, I had one of these, but I practically lived in it. And it was that cold. I had this on. I had spirit jerseys underneath. And I also had my body warmer in the end. I actually put my big, thick coat on because it was freezing. Didn't rain. But it was freezing cold so. so yeah I bought that I love that I've got my purple potion ears which I know you've seen in the other videos that I've uploaded before now so I've got my purple potion ears and um, I actually got three pairs of these one for me one for my giveaway which if you've not seen you've got to head over to the to that after this one and also I did a box for a friend and I put those in so yeah I got three three pairs of those ah, right Where do we start? we'll do another top shall we spirit jerseys now this I've actually washed and I owned <laughs> it. Was it last night or Saturday? Saturday. This today is Monday. I'm filming this a couple of days early because, as you know, I'm doing a week of videos. And this was I had to wear this because it was so cold and I didn't have enough long sleeve tops. So I bought myself the Disneyland Black Spirit jersey, and I love this. I love the font on it. Um, yeah me peeking over the top um yeah I, I i really really adore that spirit jerseys it's just something i absolutely adore and i think it doesn't matter whether you're in joggers or in jeans they're just comfy it's like for this, those of us in england it's like having a really big comfy t-shirt and i love that and i think there might be another one in there as well somewhere right what should we start with right i'll show you what some of the things we have got 
I've got some tickets for David Copperfield. And if you notice, they're still intact because we were meant to go and watch David Copperfield in Vegas. Um, but unfortunately, I've been really ill and then Savannah had the cold and she was that ill 10 minutes, 10, can you believe it? 10 minutes before the performance. We were able to cancel it and we got a refund. Um, oh, and I was gutted. It's at the MGM in Vegas. And as you walk, as we walked past after we got our refund, the doors were open, they were let everyone in. And it was like, it looked like a fort, you know, the turret of a fort on the stage. And whether that was um, a projection, I don't know. I don't know. And so we didn't get to see it. So that just means me and Phil have got to go back, doesn't it? Definitely. In the box, that's there. Right, right. What have we got? Right. Disneyland. I saw this and I thought, I can use this. We might do this for some competitions or I don't know, but it's got all the trivia um, information that we can turn into questions. Uh, and it's really good. There's, there's, people, there's questions and then people have asked. So it's like here, I've just opened you up. It says, where or how did Walt obtain the funds to build Disneyland? And it's got here, Disneyland ended up costing 17 million, a lot of money in 1955. And it, there it goes on. So it's lots of interesting facts that might help my memory. <laughs> Phil was like, what are you buying that for? Uh, I need a bit of help, don't I? Right, Oh, beauty products. I don't use a lot of face masks, and I should. Um, and I'm terrible, and I use soap to wash my makeup off. Oh, people at the door screaming at the television. I do, I use soap. I do use a good moisturizer. Um, do I do it, use a night one? No, should I? Yeah, have I got it? Yeah, do I get around to putting it on? No, but I should. So I thought, right, New Year, I've got to take care of myself. I'm on a bit of a health kick, and um, my plan is to lose some weight so I can nip around the parks quicker. Um, but I did end up buying quite a few masks. So I've got eye masks from Sephora. I also got some hand masks, so when my hand's better, I've got a hand mask and I've already used one of these and it's fabulous. It's like a plastic glove with a cotton lining and it's covered with, with the, the moisturising lotion and you're only meant to use it once but I did everything it said, I really massaged it in, I've used it three times, uh, I'm sure that's not the point but you know they're about five dollars a pop I think the hand masks so why not um, and I've also got good old foot masks for my tired feet, I haven't tried those yet and then in here I've got another bag, I did buy a lot, a charcoal face mask and the bubble face mask. Now this is really weird. When you put it on, it bubbles. It literally, it's like, you know if you put washing up liquid in the bowl and then you run the water and you get excess bubbles. That's what happens. It's like you suddenly grow this white beard all over your face. It's really weird and it was fascinating to do. And I did take a photo, but I'm not quite brave enough to put it on here because I didn't have my eyelashes on. If I'd have got my eyelashes on, I wouldn't look quite so like masculine, but so no, so we won't do that. But yeah, I've got loads of those and I love Sephora. And we, I think Savannah said we've got one opened up. Did she say Manchester, Liverpool, London? I don't know, one of the big cities anyway. Um, but yeah, we don't live anywhere by it. So for me, it's only when we go. So I stocked up. So hopefully that'll last me till my next Tree. Right, what's next? What have we got next? Maps. I got quite a few maps while we were there. Uh, Disneyland and also California adventure maps. So with any pin trades that I'll be doing, I'll be popping a map in until I have no more left. So we got those. Oh, I really, I really, you know what? It's just like a bit overwhelming. Right. I did what everyone else does and I've never done before. We stayed in the two Disney hotels. We stayed in the pier and we stayed in the Disneyland hotels as well. And they give you freebies, don't they? So they put soaps and shampoos out for you to use. And I never use them. 
And then I never take them, I never do, I just leave them there. But they're for us, they're ours. They're giving them us, they're disposables. Um, so I actually brought one of them at home. So I've got a bath soap here. Is it a bath soap? So that's the facial soap. So they only gave me one facial soap. So I've got that. So maybe I should use that. Um, once I've taken my makeup off with soap and water, maybe I should use that. Um, I've got the, the sea salt bath soap. It's because it's focusing on my face, sorry. So yes, it was great. So the hotels in Disneyland don't have them on the wall. They're just little ones for you to take. Right, what else? Well, I suppose really they're for you to use, aren't they? But I take my own stuff there. So I thought, well, instead of using mine, I'll use mine there. And this is, I had the body lotion. Because I, I don't know about you, I really suffer from dry hands and, and my feet as well. So I can never get enough. And this is a sea salt one, so that should be really good. Um, and then also a shampoo and a conditioner. And I didn't want to use it there. Because if it's not the one you're used to, sometimes it can make your hair very greasy or dry or what have you. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying those. So yeah, thanks Disney. Cost me an arm and a leg for the room. But I've got some soap. Don't tell Phil, he'll think that's why we booked it. And we really didn't, we really didn't. Right, oh, I've got some more maps. I did get a lot of maps, or rather, I should say Blake got a lot of maps. Now this was a Christmas gift of Phil. Um, and he's an old romantic, he really is. So it's a little box. And on this top, if you see, it says your Todd wishes and wish granted. And it's a genie lamp. Um, and then you just put like your tide wishes on the back and the front. So on Christmas Day I opened it up and inside there were some, some surprises for me. So he got me the, the, the smaller pins from Shop Disney. So it's the ooh, dwarves one, which I hadn't got, so that was great. He also got me this one. I don't need to say anything about that, do I? So it says, together forever. Told you as an old romantic, isn't it? It's lovely. <laughs> and then he ordered Oh, I couldn't stop laughing. He went to um, Ryan's site, Disney Pins blog, and he ordered me a pin off there. Um, and he didn't tell Ryan, it was, you know, and I, th I thought, I, I really did have a little chuckle. Um, and it came super quick for him as well. And look, it's the Rapunzel. It's, uh, I think this is an Acme pin. And um, it's, where's the back? And what they'd actually done is um, Blake and Phil had gone through all my pin books, my pin board. They'd gone through, it's been like going through someone's purse, isn't it? Going through your pin books. Um, and they'd gone through um, all my pin mail envelopes. <laughs> and it didn't go bonkers. And um, to find out if I got these pins, and that's how he knew to order them. And I didn't get told off. So that was a win-win. And then inside, if you can see, there's coins, golden chocolate coins. Because where were we going? We were going to Vegas. And right at the bottom of the coins, which is not there now, it actually put me $150 to gamble with. Um, and I did turn that into a little profit. I did win a thousand. I won a thousand dollars. I did. Spent it in Disney. But um, yeah, I did win a thousand dollars. Um, and normally you don't win, and and, I, and I, 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 yeah, it's very addictive, but I was very good every time I won, I walked away, so it was like, that was amazing, so yeah, so that was, that was lovely, that was really, really, really thoughtful. Then, he'd also, by going through the pin mail, found the name and the contact details for my pin pickups, because obviously there was multiple, multiple envelopes in there, um, and he contacted them, and um, they got him some Pandora charm. 
it's really resourceful maybe even more resourceful than, than me and really do it simply by doing that but it was lovely so the first thing he really wanted to do a sleeping beauty castle charm and it's pink uh, and he was so worried that we'd get there and they wouldn't have it anymore. So right. I've now got the Sleeping Beauty one. I already have um, uh, oh, Cinderella and I've also got the, the Paris one. So the three parks, I've got the castles. So um, I'm just three missing now, aren't I? That means a trip if ever I can swing it. Um, I then, I actually had to swap mine. I'd already got this. Um, where did it go in? The, the partner's statue charm. I already had this. But Mickey had actually snapped off. Um, I must have caught him on something. But with charms, they should be sturdy, shouldn't they? So I went to the shop. I didn't know if I have a battle. In the end, they did swap it for me, but they didn't want to. But if it's a charm for a charm bracelet, it should be sturdy enough so you don't catch it. So, well, my opinion anyway. So yeah, but I did win. I did win. I wasn't not going to because I, I didn't think that was right. Then here, they're so little and intricate. I don't know if you can see this. This one is off Blake. Will it go into focus? Can you see? It's actually, I don't know if you can see it. It's a Mrs. Chips, mi sorry, Mrs. Potts teapot. Can you see that? A little teapot. Because when me and Blake go away, we're mother and son, aren't we? And it's Mrs. Potts. And chip and because so many of you said I sound like Mrs. Potts, Angela Lansbury, I wish. Um, so you thought that was quite nice. So it'd be like linked to me and the channel and us. I then got, I think this might have been off Savannah. Well, this is going to focus. They're so little, these charms, aren't they? It's a little, well, it's a little green star and it's got um, Tinkerbell on the one side and on the other side it says Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. And if it wasn't for my wonderful friend, Melissa, at Pixie Dust and Peaches, um, I wouldn't probably be doing this today. So so that's like a jewel, jewel memory as well. They also got me the Snow White one, so I'll put a close-up of that because this won't uh, show on the, the videos where it's too small. And then the last one they got me was they got Mickey and Minnie in a sleigh. Will that show because it's a bit bigger? Yeah, so Mickey and Minnie in a little sleigh for Christmas. I, couldn't, I really couldn't believe it when they got me all of those because they like to do presents off each child and Phil as well. And um, so lovely because I have got my Pandora bracelet, which I haven't got on because obviously I need to put all my charms on. Um, and so I didn't wear it. Um, yeah, very, very lucky. And then when we were in Vegas, I also have my, my Tiffany one, which I had for my birthday when we were in Beverly Hills. And I don't know if you've noticed, not only has it got the little Tiffany heart on, but I've also got this. Will that focus? It's a little disc and it says Beverly Hills. And they don't do them anymore. Um, so I actually, I had it on one of those like, like little clip things and it kept coming off. And I was devastated because I didn't want to lose it because it was the first time, it was last May, uh, not last May, the May before 2017, that we'd ever been over to um, Los Angeles. And I just fell in love with it, the people, everything. So, so wonderful. Um, and it was special, he bought it for me. So yeah, I couldn't lose that. But with us then going to Vegas, I might have got a little box. <laughs> that little blue box, you know, that blue box that all of us girls love. Um, yeah, I don't think I've opened it since he put it in, since the the, the um, man in the shop put it in here, so I hope it's in here. <gasps> Imagine if it wasn't. There it is. And so I've now got to take my bracelet in um, and have this one welded on. And they do it as a free service, right? Will it go into focus? Can you see that? It says Las Vegas there. How cool is that? And it's done like a little postcard. The Tiffany blue there. So yeah, so that was a little something he got me to remember our time in Vegas because I do love my bracelets. Um, and I do I do leave them on all the time. So um, so yes, that was my little memento from 
Vegas. It's got a nice little memento. That is it, especially in that box. I don't normally keep the boxes. Right, next, next. Oh, yes, Blake got me this. This was for Christmas. I have got Vanellope. I have got the Vanellope Funko Pop um, with all the bits in her hair. And I love this because, again, when we're in Vegas, uh, we actually stayed in the Venetian and inside they've got a black tap restaurant. Now there's one coming to Disneyland and when you go, if you go, order the milkshake that looks like Vanellope's hair and it's white and it sounds really sickly but it's actually really light and it's not a heavy milkshake, it was beautiful. And because we went there and we had that milkshake, that's just like, I link memories, don't you? I think it makes everything a bit more special. Right, next. Oh, we're down to bags now. If we're getting to bags, that's dangerous, isn't it? Oh, this is Phil's. Right, when we went to Toy Story Land, I got him this, but I got it in, in the extra large, and it was too big. So, is my little spud muffin. So, I've got him that in a large. Um, don't think I'll fit him at the minute, but we're on a health kick, and it will do by the time we go away. So, yeah, so that's his. What else? Oh, this is a present Blake bought for Phil. Um, he hasn't taken it out yet. He's got foot back. Beware oh. of hitchhiking ghosts. <laughs> Isn't that fab? It's a hitchhiking ghost little um, doom buggy um, for, for Phil. And, isn't that nice? See, I told you Blake treats us and he buys us things and he's, re he's a really kind lad. So, so yeah. He worries if he doesn't buy us, buys us things. He's like, but you got me presents, Mum, yeah? But I'm your mum and you're my son and you don't need to. But he's really, really kind. Oh, we've got some stickers. I found some stickers in the bottom of the bag. Yay! Right, some more stickers. Right, what else we got here? Okay. More maps. Ah, uh, okay. Phil um, took a picture of this and I had a picture on Christmas Day. And I did want these when they first came out in uh, the US, but it wouldn't ship to the UK. Um, and it, I think there was a limit, you could only have one per house or something like that. But look, he's got me the Nutcracker pins. So, because it's Christmas, and he got me the three Nutcracker pins. So, isn't that lovely? Very thoughtful. And he didn't know what I got coming, did he? He didn't know the orders, and yet he took these chances. Right, when we were in the Disneyland hotel shop, oh, I love I love the lettering and the logo. So I saw this and I thought, I've got to get myself one of these. So it might be a fella's t-shirt, but I don't mind. And it's got the Disneyland logo on. So, Disneyland hotel. You should be peeking over, seeing what I can see. In Yeah, I'll be wearing that in the summer. Um, yeah, yeah, I love that. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Well, you always have to buy some chocolates, don't you? So we've got some candies. And we've got some chocolate malt balls, which are just like our Maltesers. So I don't know if you have Maltesers in America, but that's like our Maltesers. But we actually bought them to eat in the, the hotel, even though I'd taken some chocolate with us for Christmas. Um, oh, we never ate them, did we? You don't, do you? Get Eat whatever's out. <gasps> okay, yes, I know what this is. Right, I was really naughty, but you can't believe that. Um, they were all asleep. It's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them. Um, oh my word, the smells. Okay. I have seen everybody open up the candles from Wishes. You know what's coming, don't you? And I actually looked, and the shipping to England is ridiculous because of the weight of them, I'm guessing. Um, and also, because it, you know, being a candle, um, they're very difficult, aren't they, to ship, ship abroad. Um, so while they were all asleep, I thought, do you know what, Karen? <laughs> I ordered some for 
the first part of our journey, I ordered some for the second leg and they came to the hotel and I sent a message to, to the shop and they were lovely. They replied, said, no problem, we'll get them there for you before you leave. Really, really lovely. So that was so lovely, a lovely touch. And so I got four. I did, I got four. I love candles and we always use uh, Woodwick candles here in the UK. And the reason I use Woodwick candles is um, I find they've got a stronger scent and they crackle. So it's like, we haven't got a fire now. We had our fireplace taken out. And it sounds like a log fire crackling. So, yeah, I like that. Right, so I'm just taking all the stuff off. Seeing which ones I got. I've forgotten. Because you just go by the descriptions on the site, don't you? Because you're not there to actually smell them. You see, I'm throwing all the rubbish on the floor. I'll have to pick it up after. Right, so the first one. Well, we all know I like to be a Jack Sparrow pirate. I do, I do. So, I had to get the pirate's rum. So. Oh my word. It smells. It smells like the bottom of a rum bottle. Oh, it really, that smells really. Yeah, it's a really strong smell. And look, you've got your glitter on the top. So I can't wait to see how strong the scent is when you burn them. Um, and I was told once, if you have a candle and you can no longer smell it, it's because you've got smell blind. And that's because you've become accustomed to the smell. So then you swap it for a different fragrance. There you go. I know some things, right. Animation. I got the blue animation one. What was this? Oh, that's. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, you could eat that. That's well. You better not, cause you'd be ill. That's like. Is that lemon and lime smells? I don't know, but that smells beautiful. It's like a. Oh, it's orangey. Oh, this is citrusy. I don't know what it's meant to smell like because I haven't got that up, have I? That's really nice. And look, it's got the yellow glitter. And all of these have got a pin in them. Um, so we'll see what pins I've got. The, and they've got the Wayfarer one. So this, this is me about 12 o'clock at night just messing around on my phone in the room. Um... Oh, that smells fruity. I like fruity smells. My favourite one is uh, a peach mango smell. That's the one I really, really love. Oh, that smells like a drink. Oh, that's, that's just really fruity and I, I'm not a clue without looking. Oh, that's lovely. The smells and gold glitter on the top. SpongeBob pineapple under the sea. <laughs> That's what it smells like. It takes a while, doesn't it? And then I had to have the birthday cake. So, oh yeah, that smells like vanilla frosting for sure. And it's got that on blue glitter. And it's it's Savannah's birthday really soon, and um, I give her that one, but. She's not allowed to light a candle in her um, room at university because I'll she'd have that. So I'll just have to have it for me, won't I? <laughs> so yeah, I got those for her, probably so. And, and otherwise, I'd never be able to get them here. So if these are as lovely as I think they are, um, and I packed them in my suitcase to come home and I put lots of packaging around, lots of bubble wrap, and they came home fine, as you can see. So if I love them on our next trip, I'll order some more on there. So. Um, I can have them and I think that's a problem for us in the UK we see all these wonderful things and we can't get them because the shipping is just ridiculous um, ridiculous or uh, the customs fee when it comes through the other end and I'll tell you how ridiculous shipping can be I looked at two other boxes not ones I currently have um, but I won't name them and the one I, I really thought, oh, I really have this. It tends to be sort of older items. Um, and the shipping to the UK of a box 
either box and the dearer one was like $70 and the cheaper one was like $40 was $69 to ship to the UK and that's without any import customs charges without this end and so I just clicked off how how ridiculous and that's because it was a priority mail in all fairness but give us a normal mail give us a chance um so it is really hard to get things so i won't be doing those subscription boxes that's for sure um but with something like this you could understand because they're very weighty items to send um but yeah so i love these so i will most definitely give you a review tell you how i find them and uh, if i love them because we do burn a candle every night in our living room i'll um i'll get some more Next! <laughs> right, we have limited phone case choices in the UK. We do. Um, I do have an Apple um, Max XS, is it? XS Max? I've got the biggest Apple phone, but you can't guess why. <laughs> I struggle, so I needed the biggest screen um, possible so that it would ease my reading because my eyesight, I think because I'm always on my phone and I'm replying and what have you, my, my reading sight has got worse. So that's why. And so I found, oh, it's on the case, isn't it? Look at this lovely pink case. And we, at the time of buying it, didn't have it in the UK. Whether they've got it now, I don't know, but it's a silicone case. At the moment, I got the baby pink. I shouldn't pick it up, can I? Because I can see all my messages, and you know when you like nosy and you want to click on them. But anyway, so yeah, so um, so yeah, so I can put this on there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! I just put it down, Nikki and Tracy. I'm just playing your video for everybody um, by accident, by touching. <laughs> So I'll have to watch that later, won't I? Know. So, so yes, yeah, so I've got that. So I've got that case. I do have another case in here somewhere, though. I do. Right. Oh, we have some photos. <sighs> I think after this photo, I'm going to have to do haul part two because we're not even halfway there. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, we did the void. Now there's a void, isn't there? At Disneyland and uh, da downtown in downtown Disney and in Disney Springs in Florida. Disneyland still call it downtown Disney at the moment, but they're renovating everything, so we'll see if the name changes. But in Vegas, they also had a void within our hotel, and they did Wreck It Ralph, and they also did Ghostbusters. And was it in July? I don't think I put it up yet. I might have done. We did the Star Wars one and we absolutely loved it. So for those who don't know, it's like, it's a video game, but you put a headset on. So it's very much like a VR, PlayStation VR. You put the headset on and it's like you're in the game and you actually go into a dark room and you think you're going through tunnels. You know, you're just moving around in an empty space. So it's perfectly safe, but your brain is telling you to be careful and it's, it's really fabulous. So we did both, I did book both. It was Christmas and I did both. So this was our first photo, and this was when we'd done Wreck-It Ralph. So that was our first photo. So I better not leave it up for too long, because I'll get into trouble with the kids for showing it in the first place. And we all had to choose characters. So you all choose a character. Let's do it the right way up, Karen, that would help. So you chose who you were going to be, and then, on your VR mask, that's who you saw the others to be. How oh, proud is that? Really, really like that one, the Wreck It Ralph. I really, really did enjoy that. And that's the newest one that they brought out. And then uh, the following day, because I was very aware that for the kids, there wasn't that much to do in Vegas. So I had to find other things to do, which is why we did the two. Uh, we did Ghostbusters. So yes again you have your cards and you choose who you are and then we chose that photo. We had to pay, I think it was about $15 or something for the first, but you had to, didn't you? So how cool do we look? So um, I have to say, I think we all liked the Ghostbusters one the best so far. Um, and because it's a new, new thing, I'm really hoping that they'll actually bring some more out. So. So yeah, so I'm going to carry on. Now this will either be all in the video or I'm going to cut it and it'll be part two because there is a lot and I'm looking at the time. So, right. 